Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. I have got to share this piece of information with you guys. This is amazing. I have not heard of anyone else that has seen with their naked eye uh, Comet Erasmus. I know that Comet Erasmus has been brightening and has been easily visible through telescopes and uh, binoculars, but this was caught with the naked eye <clears throat> and uh, was taken with a normal uh, camera. And uh, so um, I have a new lens coming today for my telescope, which is a uh, four, uh, it's, a, it's a four level or a, uh, what do you call it? It's a zoom lens. So I can go from 24 to 16 to 12 down to eight millimeter. And so, if I can pick it up, <clears throat> if I can pick it up on my, uh, in my 24 millimeter uh, lens, then I can, once I get focused in on it, then I can close in on it and get a close-up of it with my new zo zoom lens that's arriving today. I just got a notice from Amazon that uh, my package will arrive today. So, I will do my best to get a, um, to get a camera hooked up to my telescope, see if we can uh, somehow uh, catch this on camera close up. But for the, uh, for the meantime, I want to share with you <clears throat> how, this, how this information came to me. I, um, okay, so this came uh, through on my Facebook page. Uh, my friend Tanja Swinson commented on this uh, link that I shared. Uh, this actually this video that was shared uh, is by Wallytron 101 December 14th the revealing he did a great job putting together a lot of information that he's seeing as well that was uh, a good job so just a shout out to my buddy uh, Wallytron 101 if you want to check that video out you can see that but uh, so on this comment uh, on this uh, on this post on my Facebook Tanja uh, comments Comet Erasmus 6 a.m. at sunrise. Okay, so this first picture, she could see it, but you, I didn't see the tail with it, so it it uh, didn't um, catch my attention as much. But she uh, she went on to say, so I asked her, you picked it up with your camera, with your naked eye? Yes, I have another picture, and so she sent me this other picture, and this picture shows. I mean, you can definitely see this is the comet. This is a comet. This is not uh, just one star. It's not just a dot. <clears throat> and so Comet Erasmus is now visible to the naked eye. Okay. Now, the uh, what was important for me to understand, <clears throat> she says, I've been watching it for some time. I did not know what it was. I think I noticed about a month ago, much closer to the sun. It's super big now. Wow, amazing. 6 a.m. you saw this at what side of the sky? Okay, so looking east. So she saw this this morning. This was a picture taken this morning. 6 a.m. looking east. And I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, if you guys want to, um, you know, get up, you know, in time, you know, 5.30, 6 a.m. in the morning, looking east to see if uh, anybody else can be, you know be spotting this watching this the uh, interesting thing about comet erasmus is that it was found on the feast of trumpets between september 17th and september 20th this was found okay and its arrival date is december 13th which is exactly what we're watching midweek hanukkah so I mean, we've got the, you know, the connection to the Feast of Trumpets, the fact that it was found on the Feast of Trumpets is an announcement of something that is coming, and then, and then it, it's arriving on Hanukkah. So Comet Erasmus is very important, it's a very important sign, and I think right now that this is becoming visible to the naked eye is also a huge uh, a part of this. I mean, we've all wondered when we're going to see one of those comets with the big long tail and, you know, like the, the, like the Christmas song with the tail, you know, the tail as big as a kite, you know. And um, what's that Christmas song that we sing? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, anyway, um, so this is 6 a.m. looking east. 
And I'm really excited because I have my new lens arriving today for my new telescope. And I said to her it was closest to Earth November 19th. And so right now it's basically in the area where it's closest to Earth as it rounds the uh, orbit of Earth and is heading towards the sun for its perihelion event on uh, December 13th. And um, so she uh, sent me this picture, and I'm, I'm really excited to be able to share this with you guys, okay? Comet Erasmus is visible to the naked eye. This was 6 a.m. this morning looking east. Look for it, and uh, you can email me. I'll leave my email for you in the uh, first comment and also in the um, description box if you guys get any pictures of this. Okay, I'd love to be able to document with uh, pictures from multiple sources and stuff like that. So if, you, if anybody else picks this up and is able to get it on camera or video, please uh, send it to me through, through my email. And I will follow up and, and uh, document this. I would love to be able to document this with uh, multiple sources. So I pray you guys are blessed. Have a wonderful day. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.